Welcome to another metal detecting video. I recently had a bit of bad news regarding metal detecting in that um, somebody who I'd been out metal detecting with before told me the other day that they'd been metal detecting more or less on my doorstep where me and my son go around. Um, he's got his own land and I wouldn't do that to somebody else. I would expect other people not to do that. And that left bit of a bad taste in my mouth. So in order to cleanse my palate I decided to give a new site a few hours and it was okay. It's, it's a promising site. Um, there's plenty of history there. I didn't find much of it but I did find something pretty good. Unfortunately that was within 20 seconds of being in the field so I'm gonna save that till the end. I normally put the video together in chronological order but I'm going to save that till the end because that's it's quite a nice find. So for this video, I'm not having any panoramic shots or anything, but I'm not putting any points of reference on this one just so I keep it as my site. Hope you enjoy it. It's a more interesting shaped piece of lead. Looks like it's got an indentation in there. Yeah, I think it's got a, a, a hole all the way through it. It's possibly some sort of weight. It looks very old though. It's a pretty good sign. This one's reading 1235 and it's a nice strong signal. interesting that's a very old looking lump of pottery the black glaze on it looks like more rubbish yes it is oh twisted metal this one's reading as a 1038. Oh, bloody hell, man. This is knackered! Oh, finally! Looks like a little cup of finial or something. You go on the end of like a curtain holder or something. This is reading 12.43 and now that I've got my pinpointer fixed I can actually find stuff. Hey, oh, it's coin shaped. I'm not sure it is a coin though. It's a funny old shape and it looks like uh, copper as well. Mm -hmm. It's not a button because there's no sort of clasps or hangers or anything like that. It does appear to be something on that side. Possib I don't know, possibly Britannia on that side. Maybe it's the line across the bottom with the date on. 
I'm never going to get a date off that though. I don't know. It, it, maybe it isn't hammered, but um, nah. I don't think it is hammered. I think it's just a very battered old farthing. This one's reading 11.33. Took quite a lot of trash in this field. That looks like a button. Yeah, it's a button. This one's reading 12.37. And it's a Victorian penny. It's a shame it's a little bit crusty because otherwise it's in pretty good condition that. This one's reading 12.41. I thought it was a coin there, but it's just a button. This one's reading 12.34. Uh, that's possibly another button. It's got something on it, but I, I think it's probably still a button. Yeah, it's a button. Hoping that it's something decent. Because it gave a constant signal both ways. Ah. There we go, it's a coin by the looks of it. More than likely an old Georgian penny, judging by the size and thickness of it. Ah, it's a huge lump of lead. This is another signal that was bouncing around in the top half of the right hand side of the screen. And it's another button. <laughs> this one was reading 12.42. And that's a bit different, that one. I don't know whether it's a coin or what. Possibly a big old Roman coin. At least I would like to think it was, but there's no detail at all on that. It's so crusty. Oh, get in there. First dig on a new site. And I'm into something interesting straight away. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Oh, and it's silver. It's got the whole mark on the back. Get in there. European War, 1914 to 1919. Presented by the inhabitants of Corbridge, April. 1919 well that's pretty special and I've literally been here 20 seconds to switch the machine on didn't even ground balance first signal silver get in I spoke to a couple of lads in the metal detecting club last night and they've informed me that it's actually a pocket watch fob so you would have like a waistcoat on two little slit pockets here you'd have this attached up here chain going down to a bar chain going down to your watch these were quite common apparently the outside bit of it is silver the inside bit apparently is nine carat gold it's fairly likely that somebody out there has a watch with an Albert chain without the fob it's certainly the sort of thing which will have sentimental value to somebody, they just won't know it. I'm also going to get in touch with the local paper and see if they can do a small article on it, because quite a lot of people read the local paper that goes up and down the Tyne Valley. I'm sure there'll be more people read that paper than will see my videos. Now given the fact that that fob, the chain and the watch would be silver, it'd be quite an expensive thing at the time. And the fact that it was presented to somebody by the inhabitants of Corbridge 
seems to indicate the fact that everybody in the local area would have chipped in to get this thing made to present it to somebody who'd done something pretty fantastic in the First World War. So I would really love to find out who it was, get this back to the descendants and make a little bit of a story out of it. So if you can help me in any way, it would be much appreciated. That's your lot. Thanks for watching. Um, I will do longer videos as time allows, but I'm still reasonably busy with my work. It's easing off a little bit, hence I'm starting to do a few more metal detecting videos. Towards the back end of this year, there'll be lots more coming. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.